Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Most of the cataract surgeries that we are doing during this COVID-19 pandemic are mature, intumescent or hypermature Morgagnian cataracts. This can be called COVID cataract syndrome. Today I did two consecutive intumescent cataracts. This is the first one. After staining the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye, capsulorexis is being done at this moment. I always do a small rexis first. This can be called momidex, Mohantas minirexis. Then I aspirate some cortical lens matter through this small opening to reduce the intralenticular pressure. And when we aspirate some cortex through this small opening, the intralenticular pressure gets reduced drastically. But the cortex should be removed from all around, not only from the inferior part, say from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock. We must remove the cortex from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock also, from the superior part also. And when the cortex is removed from all around and when the convexity of the anterior capsule is lost after aspirating this amount of cortex, then the chance of running out of the rexis is almost nil. And now visco is again injected. This is 2% SPMC and a small cut is made at the margin of this small rexus and then the small rexus is enlarged to an optimum sized rexus of about 5 millimeter. This cataract is soft this though this is a mature intumescent cataract the nucleus is not hard in this first case. So this is uh, an adequate sized rexis and now some more visco is injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 from Switzerland and the tip goes bevel down because it is easier to go inside with bevel down and now some more cortical matter is removed now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up and now I am going to do a direct job to divide this nucleus into fragments the tip is buried completely into the substance of the nucleus then I come back to vacuum hold the nucleus very firmly and then aspirate and then, then divide the nucleus into pieces. So the nucleus is divided completely into two heminuclei and now each heminucleus is being subdivided into smaller pieces and the pieces are emulsified using ultrasonic energy which in this case is 65% Fluorate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And this is chopping of the other heminuclei. This heminuclease has been chopped into three pieces. And then each nuclear piece is emulsified and, and it gets vanished in no time. And now I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of cortex. And irrigation is from the right side port, aspiration from left, and all the cortex from the right side has been removed. And now the cortex from the left side is being removed. Yes, all the cortex has been removed. 
some fibers are there here and there that will come out when we polish the capsule after implanting the intraocular lens yes the lens has gone into the capsular bag and now motiva visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge is getting removed and here I am polishing the under surface of the anterior capsular rim and now I polish the posterior capsule there at 6 o'clock so after implanting the intraocular lens we can polish the posterior capsule we can polish the under surface of the anterior capsular rim after this we just close the side ports to a final lavage of the anterior chamber and conclude the case let us see another case this is the second intermessent cataract that I did today after staining the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye visco has been applied to fill up the anterior chamber and now a cystitome is being used to incise the anterior capsule and make a C flap and now this C flap is converted into a small rexis you can call it momerex mohantas minirexis and this is done and now some cortical lens matter is removed so just by hydrating the cortex some lens matter starts coming out through this momirex and now the nucleus is rotated and cortex from all around is removed if there is elevation at on side the rexis may run out in that direction so we must flatten the anterior capsule all around this is SPMC again I don't use sodium hyaluronate in intermescent cataracts but if you find it comfortable you can use it and now a small nick at the margin of the small rexis and it is converted into an optimum size axis of about 5.25 millimeter and here it is going to complete the mini rexis and it is done now this nucleus is harder than the previous one and in this case I'm going to employ my technique submarine chop for dividing this nucleus into some fragments aspirate some cortex turn the handpiece make the bevel up and now the nucleus will be pushed little down by this chopper yes and just in front of the main incision the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus it travels through the substance towards the opposite equator like a submarine and the chopper is used to divide the nucleus into two heminuclei each heminucleus is divided into smaller pieces this is the other heminucleus it is also divided into two large fragments and now each large fragment is triangular in shape 
its central part is called maybe it's called the apex and this apical part must be attacked first this a sharp apex must be made blunt and then if it even if it rotates even it gets upside down then it cannot pierce the posterior capsule but if this sharp apex goes down and suddenly presses on the posterior capsule at a point there is a possibility of posterior capsule giving way this is the last nuclear piece at this time we can reduce the vacuum and flow rate or we can remove the chopper from the sideboard make the chamber more stable and be at the central area and finish off the management of the nucleus some visco is injected into the anterior chamber and now is the time to uh, remove the cortex and I am going to use this instrument by manual I first am hydrating the cortex so that when I pull it it comes easily and it is happening it comes very easily to the tip of the aspirating port at this time the irrigation is from the right side aspiration from left and now I change hands and irrigation is from the left aspiration from the right and the cortex from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock is being removed cortical cleanup is done and now an intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag this may be called hydro implantation where the antechamber is maintained by the irrigating cannula and the intraocular lens is implanted the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma. The antechamber is nicely lavashed and the integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. So thank you very much for your attention. Hope these two cases will encourage you to try two stage rexes. First a small rexes and then enlarge it to an optimum sized rexus.